So I know that um, some of you are having problems importing CSV files into Excel when you're working on a Mac. Now, CSV files are a very important set of files. Um, they're basically text files. Let me open so this is a CSV file. I'm using a window machine, but so I can only emulate the issue uh, that happens on a on a Mac. But I've seen what the solution is. So you can open CSV files in just a text document, okay? And then you just get this. You know, every line here is one row in a table, really, and columns are separated by these commas. So that's why they're called CSV comma separated values files. So usually if you run Excel on a Windows machine, you can just double click on, uh, let me do that here, double click on uh, a CSV file and uh, Excel on Windows will automatically recognize that this is really a table. Okay, but I'm aware that um, perhaps not always, but often when you open a CSV file in Excel on a Mac, the data come out like this. Right? So basically all the information is in the first cell. The B column is totally empty. Okay, so all of this information is column A. It's not separated by columns. So there are two ways to deal with this. If you already have the data in here, then the easiest way to do that is you highlight column A and you go to the data tab and there is a text to columns button. Click on that, choose the delimit delimited option, click on next, and then make sure that comma is ticked. And you can immediately realize you're basically telling Excel that columns are separated by commas. Now click next, or oh, we can finish, actually, you don't need to do anything. And here you go, here you have your table, and now you can save it as an Excel file. Okay, go to save, save as, and then you save it as wherever you want to save it, but as an Excel file, not a CSV file. So that's the first way you could go about this. There's another way, so let me, so if you still have an open plank workbook, you can go to data, get data from file, and then there's a from text CSV option. If you work on, uh, on a Mac, the options look different, but the options are all there. And now you find the, uh, uh, the file. I need to go to where that is, country indicators here. Click on that and then your Excel version will automatically realize that, um, so we can just press load here, will automatically realize that the data are rows and columns. Okay, and here you have your data sheet. And again, you can then save that as an Excel file. So these are two ways to deal with this issue on a Mac.